So I think we can all agree that going into the BIOS is really annoying. You have to restart the computer, spam the F key, and hopefully the BIOS pops up out of nowhere. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can make a simple shortcut that will restart your computer straight into the BIOS. So creating this shortcut is actually very simple. All we need to do is right click on our desktop, hover over new and then create a new shortcut. Now this is where we need to enter in the command and it's important you do this correctly otherwise it won't work. So first of all we need to type in shutdown and then you want to type in space forward slash r space forward slash fw space forward slash t and then space whatever number you want so in this case we're going to use one. So before we go any further let me explain what this command does. So the first step is to shut down the computer. The next step is to restart the computer. And then the next step is to go into the FW, which means firmware, AKA the BIOS. Now slash T means time. And this is time within seconds that it takes to execute this command. So in this case, we've got one, which stands for one second, but you can have as many seconds as you like. So if you want 10 seconds or 300 seconds, it's completely up to you. Then once you're ready to continue, you just want to click on next. And then you want to name the command. So I'm just going to call it BIOS. And then you want to select finish. Now, the last thing we need to do is to run this shortcut as a administrator, otherwise it may not work. So we need to right click on the shortcut, go into the properties. And then from here, you just want to select advanced and then make sure run as administrator is selected. Then want to click on OK, apply and then OK. So the next time you run this shortcut, it will automatically restart your computer and boot straight into the BIOS without spamming any more F keys or delete keys or whatever it is. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you need any more help, you can always join the Discord server where you can get in touch with me and the community.